Hello and uh, welcome everyone. So in this video, we are going to create a database module. In the previous video, we have created a config service. That config service will provide me the database configuration and that I will be using in the database.module.ts. Okay, so let's get started. So here I have a database module. So it will be a same, same module as we have created other modules. But only the thing is, it will be we will be injecting the config service here and the config service only will be providing us the data so we will be getting a config service config module from the config service so here we have config module We just provide the config module and this we will add the controller and services data now what this database module will do is it is going to give us the connection with the type or connection with the mysql using type or so we have already installed a type or module here we have done that npm install minus minus save type or okay, i'll just add it here so all these modules you need, you need a MySQL 2. All these modules you have to install. Nice this type RM, type RM and MySQL 2. Okay. Once you are done with this, now we can just take a look how to connect with the MySQL. This is a simple one. What it is doing is it is just uh, you are passing a hard coded information. If you just see this, we are just passing the MySQL host port database password entities. Entities will be all the entities which you have defined in your system. This is the simple way of uh, connecting to a database but what we are doing here now we have a config service the config service will use will pass the data to the database module and there we will do the dynamic initialization of this particular module okay so in this example you have seen what we are doing a uh, type or module dot for root so here we can just take a look on to different examples here when you are connecting with a mongodb we were just doing a simple if I just talk about this here if you wanted to connect to a particular database module mongoose module dot for root right so this is the default method when you want don't want a dynamic initialization but if you want a dynamic initialization of a module then you have to use other methods also like here what all methods we have for root for root async right for feature for feature once you have already connected to the database using some module now you wanted to access a particular entity particular feature then for feature for root when you have all the static information hard coded for root asynchronous means here you will be doing a dynamic initialization and what it is asking it is asking type or a module async options right so if you see this option here you need to you might be injecting some other module and doing this so let's do this in this way and then we'll clean this up so for root async here this is the, our database so we can define a one particular Matthew method so this is our module and here we can define a method for which is a for root okay here we will be injecting all the information so here we will be passing a db config and all that we will take care, take care later and what we are returning from this is what module we are injecting first of all so config module okay because config module we have to inject and we have to get the data from there so module is a database module and imports so here we are doing a dynamic initialization now here type or a module We have imported this type for import this from and what we are importing is type for a module which we can get here type for a module dot for root async. You can see we have different methods.
and here we'll pass our object so this object will have all the other information like what we are importing in this we are importing the config module yeah so here what we are doing is uh, we are using this redis module dot for root testing right so same thing we are doing in our for root method we will be using use factory config service and we are injecting this config service to get the database information mysql configuration information so we will be injecting the config service and config module will be injected in the database module okay and we are using type rm module dot for root async async and that method for root async uh, is actually accepting a type or a module options okay so that is the difference so here you can use, use factory and in the use factory you will be passing some config service here and here you will return the data this is the only uh, difference which you will see while initializing the modules dynamically by injecting some config service so here we are injecting a config module in the database module we have defined a static for root method okay use factory and in this use factory we are just passing the config service config service we have already imported config service okay and in this what we will do is in the database module itself we will create one method get connection and we will pass our config service because config service has the data so this config service option we can pass and now we can create this method we have created a static method here itself so while it is an error ok so now this config service will give us the required information which we need for the database so const db data you might have re you might remember that in config module we wrote one method config service dot get method we have written there and in the get we will be passing only from get you will get a db information if we got the db information then we can take care of rest of the things like now we have a db information let's uh, in return the mysql connection data so if you have a db object we can just create a connection options connection of options of type or a module module async options okay and uh, what we will do is we just need to return type or a module options from here so wait a second connection options equal to we can have one method this dot get mysql db config and we'll be passing the db data so this method we can have right so what this method is going to do is it is going to return us just a simple mysql information object i'm just writing it okay this is of type config data which you can import now this will return as the, the basic information okay type is because db data has everything data dot type Similarly, all the, all the other information, I'm just uh, skipping all the other information. Like you have a port, dbdata.port should be there. Post. Okay. So now this is clear, right? What we are doing is we have done the dynamic initialization of a module. We are using use factory. In the use factory, we are passing the config service. And this is what we are returning it is complaining or it is not assignable so get connection should return something okay this should return as the connection options okay now it is clear 
I will just clean this up after this video. But this is how it is going to work. Here we will define all the other information like DB dialect, character set, username, password, host, port, all the other information which we have defined in the config data. And so now by doing this, we are getting the all the config object here. So this is called a dynamic initialization of a particular module. In the database module, uh, we don't need this information now. We are just initializing it as an empty and now this database module we are exporting so this database module we can use in our actual application feature modules to initialize the database connection here if you see this config service here we are using factory in the config module we are loading everything from the env we are initializing config service and we are returning lo dot load from env so load from env is returning this config object so when the config service is getting injected in the database module, it is returning us the config, right? This config it is returning. So you can just get the required thing is I, I need a data, DB data. So I just got the DB data. This has all the in other information. I got the TV connection object now. Okay. Thanks everyone.